Hello everybody and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today we are going to be going over all of the bugs and the fish that are leaving by the end of June. So if you want to catch them, you will need to catch them before July starts. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Danny. I've been uploading a lot of Animal Crossing content, so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any further videos. All of the following critters that you're going to see are ones that are leaving in July. So you need to catch these before the very first day of July or you are going to miss out. And these are in the Northern Hemisphere. So the very first little guy that we're gonna catch is the yellow butterfly. Now the yellow butterfly spawns between the time of 4 a.m. and 7 p.m. and is typically flying in the air in some place that there's flowers. It's not hard to find one at all, so this shouldn't be a problem, and you've probably already caught one. The next one is the pill bug, and for this one, you'll need to hit a rock and be eh, kind of quick. You don't have to be super, super quick like you do with the bees, but you will have to hit a rock and then take your net out. When you hit the rock, you'll see the little guy jump right out, and then you'll take your net out and you can catch it. Now, this one spawns between the times of 11 p.m. and 4 p.m. And don't worry, they spawn frequently, so if you hit a rock and you miss catching it, another one will respawn later. It's not a big deal if you miss one. Next up is the ladybug, and this spawns between the time of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. on any type of flower. They are kind of small, so make sure you're looking carefully. Next up is the peacock butterfly. This one can only be found flying around an area that has hybrid flowers, so if you have a bunch of hybrid flowers and you've been having trouble finding this one, just group all your hybrids together, see if it spawns. Shouldn't be much of a problem, but it will only spawn around hybrids. So around hybrids and between the time of 4 a.m. and 7 p.m. The next one is a, another butterfly, and this one is flying anywhere in the air between the time of 4 a.m. and 7 p.m. The one that we're looking for here is the common butterfly. It's super, super common. It's the little white guy. And you don't want to confuse this with the other common blue bottle butterfly. This one is not leaving, so if you haven't caught this one yet, don't worry. It's still around in the month of July. Now, the next few are ones that we need to try to find during the nighttime or early morning. The first one is the really easy one, the firefly. You can just run around and find those. They are flying and they only spawn between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. So earlier in the day, we got the pill bug by hitting the rocks. And now if we go back between the time of 4 p.m. and 11 p.m. and hit these rocks again, we will find a centipede. So they're kind of alternating times. In the morning, if you hit the rocks, you'll find the pill bug and at night you'll find the centipede. It's pretty much the same thing. You just hit the rock, the little guy will pop out, then you will change your net, get your net out and catch him. And that's it. The next one was a little bit trickier. It doesn't have this super fantastic spawn rate. And if you don't have a lot of tree stumps on your island, then it might be a little bit more difficult. And if you're struggling to find this one on your island, just go out to one of the mystery islands and chop down a bunch of trees and see if it works. This is the violin beetle. It can only be found on tree stumps, but it can be found all day on tree stumps. I just happen to have a better rate at night, so I'm catching it at night. I don't know if that holds true for everybody, but I do seem to get a lot of them when I go out to the mystery islands. So if you're struggling, I would definitely suggest that. Now we do have two fish that are leaving as well. This first one is the cherry salmon. It has to be caught on a river cliff top. It's a medium size shadow and it can only be found between the time of 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. So this is what the shadow looks like. I'm just using some bait on a third tier cliff and that is how I caught it. Now if you know me in person, this next one has been driving me nuts. The very last one that's leaving is the char. Now, unfortunately, the reason it's been driving me nuts is I don't have a video of me catching it for you. I've spent eight real life hours, 10 Nook Mile tickets, 
and over 150 bait trying to catch this char, and I haven't been able to catch it yet. I've caught it on my other island. I don't have it on this new island. And so the char will be found on a river cliff top with a medium shadow between 4 and 9 p.m. I'm telling you guys, I caught every single fish possible other than the char. I mean, I've literally caught everything. I've made almost 450,000 bells and fish just trying to find this char. So hopefully if you find the char, you will have better luck than I did. I built cliffs all over my island. I went out to tons of Nook Mile Islands. Guys, I can't catch it. I don't know what the problem is, but that is where it's at. It is the char river cliff top, medium shadow between 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. Let me know how you are at catching it, if you've had any success, because so far I have not. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That is it. If you want to know and you're in the southern hemisphere, there is only one fish leaving. It is the pike. You find it in the river, and that's all day. That's the only thing that's leaving in the southern hemisphere. So thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.